Hello, this is Joshua Klein, also known as WWJDTV. This is going to be a tutorial on installing Panoramium onto your web server so you can host your own Panorama Viewer via your website so you don't have to go through Facebook or Google to show your panoramas on your website. Um, this is specifically for WordPress, although it can be done on Joomla and several other content management services. You just have to be able to add a iframe tag to your page. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go on to panorellium.org, click on download, and click on download CF. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to click on extract error, and then upload it onto your web server in the root directory. You can also upload the zip file and then extract it later. It really doesn't matter, but you just have to make sure that everything gets up there. Then you can want to set your file permissions to 755 to err files and directories for the recursion to ensure that you can view err of the files. In particular, you need to ensure that the examples and source subdirectories are uploaded. The rest of them don't actually matter that much, but the examples and source do. So the next thing that you can want to do is go onto your WordPress site and add a new post. Hit the text button, so you're editing the raw HTML file, uh, the raw HTML text, and paste in the following text. It's going to be in the description below as iframe 1. This assumes that you have the source and examples folder inside of the Panorellium 2 dash 2.2.1 under your root directory. If you do not, please edit the text that I'm highlighting right now. Um, Panorellium 2.2.1. The third slash notes that it's coming from the root of your web server. If you have it in some subdirectory, you should add those on, but you should always keep these two as absolute links not relative. Next you can hit publish and view post and then you will you should see a click to load panorama. It should load up rather quickly as long as it's a smaller panorama. If it takes a while to load then it's a high resolution panorama and you may want to use a different method that Panorellium supports which is multi resolution panorama which will be a later trivia. Alternatively, if you get text that says this file could not be accessed, that means that you did not link it correctly. You might also see a WordPress um, filler or filler page. That also means that it did not connect correctly. But assuming that you did connect correctly, you should be seeing this panorama here. If you wish to edit which panorama it pulls up, just change this code right here, the panorama equals, this will change where it's grabbing the panorama from. Um, alternatively, you can add in another folder such as panoramas under the, the root directory to place all of your panoramas there. Ensure that the internet can read the folder, otherwise you will again get the cannot read ever. Furthermore, if the panorama is not an echo rectangular panorama, it will not display correctly. If you wish for the panorama to load automatically, you simply have to add in a and amp semicolon auto load equals true after the panorama equals. This will ensure that when you pull up the post, the panorama will auto load. Um, in later tutorials, we will go into creating clears, such as this one, where you can move between panoramas, as well as being able to add in um, hotspots that let you click on places, get sent to other websites, etc. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.